Hi, Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland Real Estate here in Prince Edward Island, Canada. My specialty includes waterfront property, investment, development, recreational, and income properties here on the island. Today, we're going to look at an absolutely fabulous waterfront property located at 3 Stacy Lane in St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas is about 12 kilometers west of Summerside and we're within 10 to 15 minutes of a championship golf course, private airport, and this house offers views of both the Confederation Bridge and two lighthouses. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at here is the gorgeous, gorgeous kitchen. And as you can see, the, uh, the complete kitchen is equipped with top-of-the-line KitchenAid stainless steel appliances, and that includes the um, fridge, stove, dishwasher, and uh, over the range microwave. So I'll just give a couple scans here. And uh, the countertops are all done with hand stone, which is more expensive and far more durable than, uh, than granite or marble. Uh, if you don't know about hand stone, I suggest you do look it up on the internet. It's an amazing surface and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it doesn't, uh, doesn't get destroyed from things like orange juice or, or white wine or cutting on it or uh, putting um, anything hot on it. So I'm just going to scan back here again. Stainless steel sink. All the cabinetry is uh, custom made. Made from scratch. Specifically for this kitchen. All the uh, furnishings, the appliances, the wall coverings, window coverings, right down to the utensils are all uh, optional and offered at or below the, uh, the wholesale cost. As you can see, the kitchen opens up to a, uh, an eating area in the window that you can see not only the water, but you can see the bridge, the Confederation Bridge in the distance. You can also see the TV in the living room, the gas fireplace, which is propane powered. And you can see the beautiful um, backsplash that's all glass tiles. I'm not sure if you can see this in the background in the video, but where I'm standing right now is behind the kitchen sink. And I'm looking over the eating area or the breakfast nook, and I can see Confederation Bridge as clear as day in the background. I'm just going to zoom back here. The bridge is, um, is a phenomenal, phenomenal sight, but it's far enough that it's not right in your face like some locations. Look at that. How do you like that for a, a picture window? The propane fireplace will have this place warmed up in a matter of minutes. It's uh, really a nice thing to have and it's nothing's cozier than sitting there looking at the uh, the water and and uh, if you want the TV on, which incidentally is on home garden television. How appropriate. Uh, the house is completely equipped with uh, satellite television receptacles in all rooms. So we're just going to uh, go wide here on the living room. That fireplace has been on for about three minutes now and already I can feel the uh, the warmth in the room. This room here, which is in the front of the house, or away from the water next to the main entrance, could be used for a library, an office, a sitting area. Uh, in this case it's used as a formal dining room and it could technically be closed in to use as a fourth bedroom. The house has an exceptionally nice front door with a half moon window above it that was designed specifically for this home to uh, allow some 
of the blues to carry through from the water to the front door. And there's a large chandelier at the main entrance. Normally I wouldn't take the time to show a thermostat house I'm videotaping. Not that I videotaped any other houses other than this one. This is the first YouTube video that's included the interior of the home. Uh, what this is here is this is the thermostat for the geothermal heating and cooling system. The way geothermal works in this particular instance is you have two wells. You have an input well and an output well that goes through a heat pump. The heat pump will heat and cool the house year-round by way of forced air and keep the house at a consistent temperature. In this case we've got it set for 68 degrees. It's extremely, extremely cost efficient. Uh, it's very expensive to install, probably in the, in the likes of twenty-five dollars to $30,000 here in Prince Edward Island. But in the end it does pay for itself and uh, you don't have to rely on the oil companies or the propane companies uh, or have huge electric bills in the event that it's uh, an electric baseboard. Uh, so anyway, that's geothermal. And then to the left here we also have a thermostat for the propane fireplace, which we've got set for 60 degrees so it will kick in in the event that the other system is, is not functioning or whatever the case may be, or if you just like to see the fire on rather than the forced air. Here's what I feel is the absolute best feature of the whole house. The master bedroom ensuite. Just panning here to the left, we've got a, a sitting area that again could be used for a table or a breakfast nook or a desk. Um, we've got beautiful window in the background. I can see the, uh, the shore and I can see a lighthouse. Coming up to this door, the door actually uh, is a your own private outdoor seating area that's a deck and there's a, a roof on it. In this case the uh, we've got a, a queen size bed. There's enough room in this room to put a pool table in in addition to the bed. It's, uh, it's a massive bedroom. And again we've got another window that we can see the bay from. In the distance you can see the Confederation Bridge and the nice thing is I'm looking at it right from the middle of the master bedroom. This again is the uh, seating area. In this case we just got a little uh, couch. Not the best picture in the world but again I'm in the master bedroom and in the distance I can see the bay. So out of every window in this bedroom I can see water. Whether it's the bay or the ocean. In the distance I can see the Confederation Bridge and I can also see two lighthouses. This is the master Ensuite, which includes a jacuzzi air jet tub that seats two. Got a nice window with the water view. Countertops are all, uh, oh, there's me in the mirror. Countertops are all granite. There's Confederation Bridge in the background, and this is 3 Stacy Lane. Completed a week ago. Hard to believe it's December the 3rd today. Obviously the landscaping will be completed in the spring. This deck is so large you could hold your own rock and roll concerts on it. The views are so phenomenal we've had people photograph their wedding photos here. Absolutely amazing sight. Probably not evident on the video but in the, in the distance there you should be able to see the New Brunswick coastline.